What is going on, you people? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day out there. So, guys, I uh, I went and did it again. I uh, I went to Academy with the intention of just buying baits, and of course, all you fishermen out there know exactly how that goes. I did not just buy a bait, but instead, I went and picked up a whole new rod. And in my defense, I did need this. Uh, I have two medium heavy rods that the tips have broken over time. Uh, mainly from my stupidity and shut them in car doors or um, have low ceilings in my apartment and I accidentally just whack them on the ceiling. But, you know, that's how life goes. You know, accidents happen. So uh, I went to the Academy, right? Spent about two hours walking up and down the aisles trying to find the perfect rod to fit my needs. All I knew in my head was I want a uh, seven foot to seven foot three medium heavy rod all for under a hundred dollars. I walked up and down. I checked Dobbins. I checked Abu Garcia. And then I came across this uh, this brand of rods by St. Croix. And that is right here. It's the Bass X line. And when I picked up this rod, I think the first one I actually picked up was a 7'2 medium. And right off the bat, I was like, okay, for a medium, this has a really good backbone. I like the cork handles. You know, it has everything I need, but I need something with a little bit stronger because I plan on using this pole, uh, this rod for uh, Texas rigs, small jigs, stuff like that which has a little bit extra weight and I need a really good backbone but I also need that kind of sensitive tip that way I can fill those tiniest of bites and I believe that is what I found in this St. Croix Bass X rod right here guys. It is a simple one, medium heavy power. It says fast action but I'm going to go out and say that that's not completely true. It's got more how do I put it, uh, structure in the tip than a fast action would. So I'd say maybe a moderate fast action is what they meant to say. But for what I need and my purpose for this rod, which is perfect. Now let's talk about the price. The price line, uh, after taxes, believe it or not, came out to still under $100. Actually, $99.87 was the final price of this rod. And I think one, because uh, it didn't have a price tag on it, and I kind of uh, said something about it. And they were like, oh, okay, and they uh, rung it up, and it was right under $100. So uh, thank you to Academy for that. But uh, it is an amazing, amazing, amazing rod. Now, I do have one complaint, because I'm not just going to sit here and praise this rod. It is one complaint that all the St. Croix rods, to my knowledge, have, and that is this right here, if y'all can see it. That is the hook holder. Yes, that is it. It's not a, you know, a little tag that hangs down like Abu Garcia uh, rods do, which I love. No, this has a uh, straight connecting uh, circle wire right there, and uh, you can't just clip your hooks on it without uh, taking the actual sharp, sharpie, uh, what's it called? The point of the hook. <laughs> Sorry, it's been one of those days, but you cannot uh, place your bait securely on this pole without piercing uh, the hook through the bait, which sucks, especially for soft plastics. I'm going to be using this a lot, so I'm going to have to poke that hook through right there to secure the bait. You know, that's a bummer, but so far that's the only downfall of this poll yet. But guys, enough of me chit-chatting. I know y'all all want to see how this rod does on the water and how it compares to catching fish and how it handles. So uh, let's run down to the pond, guys. And it's going to be hot today, so please forgive me if you hear me sweating and panting because I think the heat advisory is up to 98 and humidity is 100 and holy crap. So uh, let's go. Alright guys, we are walking up to the pond. I had to test out the uh, St. Croix Bass X 7 foot 1 medium heavy rod. All I got really tied on right now is just something basic, little Texas rig. Uh, pretty sure that's a 1 8, 1 4 ounce weight with a basic green crawl just to start kind of basic. Hey, let's toss it up underneath this tree. Just got a feeling. Of course. My feeling could be wrong, <clears throat> but already first cast, first impressions, rod in my hand, it feels great. Feels great, fits snug. Um, I would say that the tip is a little bit heavy, just slightly, but I, would, I wouldn't be able to tell that unless I had all this already put on it. Hold on, let me put my backpack down. Ugh. 
But yes, the tip is a little heavy compared to the Mojo Bass one. But if your Texas rig into small jigs or anything pretty much weighted, it's not going to be a bad thing. It's actually going to come in handy. But it does pull really good. I like it. Got him, got him, holy cow. Oh yeah. Rod is handling him like a champ. Come here, just dogged him guys. We just dogged him with this rod. Look at that, look at that. Heck yeah. Now there's another thing I wanna say is I'm not gonna lie. I have started using the Guggen Squad hammer hooks. They work good, I'm not gonna lie. They do the job. Oh, almost lost you there buddy, but there is the first bass on the Bass X by St. Croix, seven foot one medium heavy rod. And guys, I gotta tell you now, not, not, not a fast action. They say it's fast action. I'm gonna go out and say bull crap, maybe a moderate fast, but not fast. Because we just dogged, I mean, it's not a giant fish, it's not, but we just dogged this guy. As soon as he thumped it, dogged him right out of there. And that is what you want out of a good medium heavy rod is something that does not mess around and can set that hook and bring these bad boys in for you because that is what uh, having a really good rod is all about right there. All right. So thank you for playing, buddy. Thank you for proving my point with this rod. Mwah. Go get bigger. Perfect example right there, my friends. Perfect. Come on. I just want a good three, four pounders to just go on and slaunch it. Let's take it to Chow Town. Oh yeah, got another one. Yeah, we're just manhandling them today, guys. Heck yeah. This is a little bit nicer one. Get in here. Yes. Look at that, my friends. That is what we are talking about right there. Yes, sir. Definitely bigger than the last one. Woo. Jay Hook got him all jacked up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can y'all see that? Let me, let me put y'all down a little bit. Woo. Now that, look, it is inside his skin, that J-hook is. He was not going anywhere. Goodness. Oh, buddy, I might have to get the pliers. That's, that is in there. Pretty good. Wait, nope, 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 there it is, there it is. See? Right, right there under the top jaw part is where he had it. Come on, there it is, there it is. And look, look guys, <laughs> that cream bait still not tore. That is awesome. But there is another one, guys. Once again, the St. Croix Bass X 7 foot one medium heavy rod just man handles these bass. Now he came out from right over there next to that little mossy area. So there was a little bit of grass around him, but did not stand a chance against the bass sex. <laughs> this is great guys, this is great. Ooh, he's got a lot of grass in his mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Absolutely destroyed it. Love it. Now, I know, like I said, this is beside the point because we're out here to test the rod, but can we just give an honorable mention to uh, these baits in the hook real quick? Because putting in work and I am falling in love with these cream lures. I am surprised I've never fished them more than I have, but guys, like that is two bass 
absolutely just tore it up, munched it. I'm not talking like a peck, peck, then take. I'm talking about a full slaunch and go. Like, they were acting like it was fast food because it came and went. Y'all know what I mean? Guys, that is insane. Hold up. Can y'all see my forehead? Look, you can see. That's how hot it is. I, was, I wasn't even out there for an hour. I already lost half my body weight in water. That is... Woo! Texas heat does not play, y'all. Just so y'all know. Ugh. Ugh. There's nothing better in this world than cold, cold water. And sweet iced tea. But that's for another story. Alright, so back to this rod. As y'all can see, handled those two fish without any issue at all. It definitely had a lot of backbone. I think that last fish actually kind of just like just yanked him in there, and just manhandled him with this pole. It is very, very good. There is one thing I know for sure about this rod and it is you can manhandle some bass and not have any issue and know with confidence that this rod is gonna have enough backbone to rip those suckers out of anything you need them to do, out of grass, out of a corner. If they get wedged up under something, I'm pretty sure you could bring that whole thing up with this. I like it. I am a real big fan of the Fuji uh, rod lines. If y'all can see them right there. Hold on. There it is. Yeah. Those right there. These are the Fuji uh, guide rails and they are amazing. Uh, I'm pretty sure St. Croix puts them on all their rods. It's also on the Mojo Bass one that I have. My uh, Chatterbait rod. And guys, <laughs> these things are awesome. I really love that they put that a little plastic ring for extra protection in it. And they kind of like uh, coat it with this epoxy. It has like this clear coating all around it, which is just amazing. <laughs> it is great. Um, I don't know if I've covered it yet, but a lot of people will say that they don't like cork handles because uh, when they catch fish, they get their hands wet. It does cause the cork handle to get slippery. Uh, and yes, it does. I'm not going to lie. But uh, most of the time when I'm fishing, I always have a rag with me to uh, get rid of the bass slime, the fish slime, and uh, also moss, that grassy, like snotty stuff that's in the water and stuff like that. So I always have a rag on me to wipe my hands and then I can go back to hold this. And I never, never have a problem with the handling or slipping or anything like that. But that's just me. Now, if you know you have wet hands and you ever have a rag out there, I would suggest not getting a cork handle. Get something with a lot more friction and resistance. That way your hands stay on there and not have to worry about slipping, except, especially when you hook it in that big bass that you're looking for. But guys, that is it for my review. All in all, I'd say for under $100, you cannot beat this rod. It has everything you need, especially if you're going for Texas rigging or jigging, anything like that. Any bait that has a little bit of weight up to an ounce on it, I would highly suggest going with this. For the money, you cannot beat it. It's definitely a great budget, budget rod. And I think that's it, guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. I really hope you took some knowledge from this video. And it makes you want to go out and try the Bass X. Because like I said, for the price range, it is not a bad rod. For a hundred under a hundred dollars, you can't beat it. Heck, my mojo bass where I was 150. Worth it. But guys, anyway, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxing channel. Hit that notification bell down there for me so you can get notified as soon as another awesome video like this drops, guys. I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace!